So I started a guppy colony with this yellow flame tail male right here. And then we got a yellow mother guppy who's pregnant. And then a kind of a purplish spotted female guppy. And I'm trying to breed these to get some new fry. Now this one right here with the yellow spots is actually one of these two's babies. They've been the ones that I've been using for my breeding. And if you look, it's kind of working out here. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but we got some fry right up here. Where'd you go, little guy? Right there, there's one of them right there. He's just swimming along, enjoying himself, having a good time. So we'll go down here, maybe a little more, you can see another one of them. There's a little fry right there. And I keep at the bottom of my aquarium because I don't want the plecos to disrupt the breeding process of the uh, guppies. So what I have down here at the bottom that kind of helps just clean up the algae are little ghost shrimp. This right here is one of them. You see his little whiskers and his eyes. There he is. Hey, little guy. So, and they do pretty good. They're healthy and they eat whatever the guppies don't you know whatever gets dropped down to the bottom there's one there and see if I actually go around over here there's a few more Let's see go around this other side so I just use a little 10 gallon to raise up my fry and stuff um, looks like we got this guy looks like his shells ready to molt it's kind of turning white so his shell must be getting hard we got another little guy over here, and up in this, see I got a little floater uh, grass thing here, it kind of, the babies just like to hang out with it, there's another little fry, so we got about eight, I'd say maybe eight fry in here so far, um, so I'll keep you updated on what happens next with the process for the guppy tank, but hopefully we get quite a few, so oh, if you can see right there, there's one, two, three, four. There's a few of them up there, but yeah, they sure do like to hang out around that little uh, little fake plant I have floating there at the top. So, and uh, if you notice, I have a lot of seashells and stuff. They just make really great hiding places and little caves for the guppies to hide out in after they they're born. Uh, the fry just really enjoy having, you know, little crevices and. Uh, collections of algae that grow on the seashells for them to kind of you know pick at and eat so that's just kind of what I do with my guppies